Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today we're going to be attempting to tame the the never, or I should say rarely touched section of the farm, which is this section right here, the big forest, the big overgrown patch, full of pine trees and all kinds of other crap, bits of rock, uh, a few saplings and stuff like that. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attempting to kind of make it into something slightly more organized. I'm actually going to Attempt to kind of build, or I should say plant, a forest today. Kind of like a more organized type of forest. Oh, I just spotted that truffle. And that's a pretty good spot, considering it's gold star, and it'll ultimately sell for about 1,200 gold or something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely pretty useful. Drop it in there. And uh, we've also got some mail, so I check on that. But yeah, main, main goal for this episode is to, to plant that tree. Plant those trees, I should say. Nora, I thought it would be fun to write you a note. I had so much fun with the cows yesterday, I'm starting to understand why you chose the farmer's life. Hope to see you soon. From Haley. Well, that's very nice, but I don't think I don't think riding on cows is very representative of what I do here on the farm. Um is that gonna take up a slot that I need? No, I've got seventeen copper bars, so that's definitely not taking up an important slot. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up all of this stuff and uh it's all wild honey, so it's not going to sell for too much. Do have plenty more time though. After today, I should be able to afford many more bee houses. I hope at least enough to uh, to use up all of the maple syrup, and then the rest can potentially go into preserves jars or something like that. Another thing I want to show you guys is that I've just uh, I've just laid down another. Oh, some of these some of these slots aren't actually being used. I should go use those. What do I have? Radish, poppy seeds. Neither of those, I think, are the best use of that space. Maybe tomatoes? Do I have any more tomato seeds? Pepper seeds. Alright, well these continue to produce after the first harvest, so I feel like they're the best things to be planting now that it's early. So plant one there, and then there's another slot here. Up off the other one. As, oh man, I'm getting overwhelmed by all these things being produced everywhere. Uh, I don't need the refined quartz, so I can leave that. But yeah, with these uh, 17 copper bars, I think the main goal is just going to be to make a lot of tappers. Although maybe I could leave that for a little bit because uh, I don't exactly have too much time right now. And besides that, once we have actually planted these trees, they will need some time to actually grow up a bit. Okay, I should put some, uh, some more stuff in there. What I'm actually going to do this time is I'm going to start testing out my... Testing out my kind of hops thing. Seeing if they really do come back in one day. As pale ale. So that's what we're going to be using the kegs for from now on. As holy crap, it's way later than I thought. Um, have I got this? There's one more free here. But yeah, one of the main reasons I'm doing this planting of forest thing is because I think that we really need. We really need some more space. Uh, not space, but we really need some more oak resin. And we've got a lot of free space on the farm, so should be pretty free to use that. Uh, Robin, I think you love peaches. I hope I'm right. Yes. Great. Already given her two gifts this week. We're pre I thought she said we're pretty insulted, but no, we're, we're pretty insulated from the rest of the world here in Stardew Valley. If you and Maru become friends, I'm sure she'll show you how to use that telescope out back. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay. With the final orange, I'm going to go and give it to, uh... I wonder if it's anyone's birthday today. I'd better check the calendar by Piers shop. No, it's not. I'm going to give all my oranges to Gus because he loves them, so I might as well do that. I'm not really not getting many gifts to give out right now, which kind of sucks, but um, it's not a big deal. Why is he so speechless about getting an orange? I don't know. Uh, everyone's pouring into here. I guess it's later than I thought. Give an amethyst to you. Might as well give out the loved gifts if we can. But Gus would be upset if I had another job. What? I didn't catch the beginning of whatever that was supposed to be. Uh, where is Clint? We have another amethyst for him. If he wants to come out sometime, there's Willy. What does Willy like? Willy likes barely anything. I hate, I hate giving gifts to Willy. It's Marnie. I think someone in town has taken a liking to me. That's, uh, that's old news. Are you talking about Lewis? Because that is very old news. Alright, so let's head down to the beach. This isn't really what I'm supposed to be doing with today. Um, but I might as well pick up this rainbow shell so that I can sell it. 
And there might be a few things down here in the crab pots that are going to be worth picking up. Nope, it's all pretty crappy. Do I have space for this stuff? I do just about. Okay, I'll drop this off on the rods. And... Oh crap, didn't mean to take that actually, but whatever. Alright, my inventory is too full for anything else. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the farm and sell off all this stuff. The main reason I'm not going to the Skull Caverns today is, well, two reasons really. Firstly, as you saw, I've, I've got kind of all the spaces that I intended to put Iridium Sprinklers in full now, so I don't feel like we really need to worry about any of that other stuff. But on top of that, it's uh, the spirits are very displeased today, so really not a particularly good day to be going to the Skull Caverns in any case. Alright, so it's getting dark, which is really not ideal, not the best time to be planting a forest. However, I have kind of planned out the way I'm going to do it, and I think we should be fine. So I'll speed this up and I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the day, when hopefully we'll have got quite a nice amount done. Crap, I think I've run too far from my horse. Where is my horse? Where is my horse? Oh, it's there. Uh, oh yeah, I'm, I've run too far. I don't want to get fined a thousand gold, but... You're not going to get back from here at 150. No. Damn it. Okay, so the farm... Uh, the, the forest has begun to be planted. It's uh, It looks a bit stupid right now, but I'm hoping when it's done it'll look better. You can't really, like, fully appreciate what something's going to look like until it's done, because even with the farm planning tools that do exist on the internet, it's not really quite accurate, so I can't really see if it's actually going to look good aesthetically or not, but certainly functionally it's going to be very useful. Uh, what I've been doing, actually, let's just have a quick look over this. Cherry wine, actually, worth quite a lot. Cherry jelly, an okay amount from that. Wild honey, more than I thought. Well, I guess there were ten of them. Rainbow shell, that was definitely worth picking up. <laughs> the fishing stuff was not really worth picking up. And then I just had three diamonds to throw away. I don't remember all the, where all those came from. Unless it's a really high luck day today, I'm not feeling particularly determined to head into the uh, into the mu into the skull caverns. Although I might do, because I do think I should probably still do that at some point. For one thing, it would be good to uh, truffle oil, nice. And uh, we should have another thing like this in there. For one thing, it would be nice to make another crystallarium at some point, but um, I, I kind of want to get this forest thing done. <laughs> So it'd be really nice just to actually... Because the main bottleneck in terms of profit right now is the fact that we can't use all our kegs very well. I mean, we do use all our kegs. That's that's the whole problem. We can't use anything else. Um, the kegs just get all used up really quickly. And uh, we end up with far more just normal crops than we do with actual kegs to put the things in. Particularly because wine takes like seven days. How much have you find me? Oh, this is something different. <laughs> okay. No worry, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon. From Emily. Okay. This one must be me getting screwed. Oh, it's Dr. Harvey. Thank you, Dr. Harvey. That's a relief. That's a, I have another mail. Okay. Fisherman wanting. I need a good pufferfish specimen. I'm conducting an experiment on the toxin created by pufferfish. 1,000 gold reward. Now that's interesting because uh, I also need a pop of... Puffer fish for one of the bundles, I believe. Um, so I need two puffer fish now. 
If I just check on, I don't. I think it was one of the bulletin board things. Enchanter's bundle. Definitely not that. Okay. Dye bundle. Uh, red cabbage, sunflower, red mushroom. I think that's almost doable. That is also not what I'm looking for, and uh, it's definitely somewhere. It might be. Oh, it is in the fish tank one. I think it's. I think it's a specialty fish. Yeah. Need a specialty fish for this. I assume sandfish comes from the desert, so uh, I need to get one of those at some point. I haven't done any fishing in the desert yet. Uh, I've not actually checked to see what the luck's like today, because that will probably have a major impact on my plans. Uh, that was what I was supposed to be doing when I came over to the kitchen. Fortune teller. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Okay, I think I'm not going to bother going to the skull caverns in that case. I could go fishing for a puffer fish. In fact, I think I will do that, because I think they're more likely to appear earlier in the day. But uh, we'll go take a look over at the forest section just to see how that's going. Okay, one, something is growing, so uh, clearly surrounding things with floors doesn't stop these ones growing. It would stop the fruit trees from growing, but these ones seem to be fine. I can see a chicken hiding in there. Who's this? Hello, Buck Buck. I've not actually been inside the coop for a while. I think we might have a new hatchling. Uh, yeah, let's go check that out. Yes, we have a new hatchling. A new baby chick, so that's a uh, chicken, I guess. Let's call this one Buck Aroo. Buck Aroo. Named after that cow that <laughs> threw Haley off. And while we're here, we might as well pick up all this stuff. Hello, Buck Aroo. And uh, could get another dinosaur, I guess. Mm, I haven't got any space in my inventory right now, so. I'll go for a duck. I'll go for another duck. I'm thinking of getting a second coop pretty soon, just so we can start hatching more than one thing at a time, and also just because I th I'm hoping that having two coops will increase our chances of getting a void chicken. So the way you get a void chicken is it's just like a random event. I've been fairly lucky with the random events, like pregnancies and stuff. I mean, I have had one thing from a pregnancy, but, um... I think, uh... I think, I think having more coops increases your chances of getting a void chicken. I think that's how it works. As uh, these things need to be watered. I'm actually going to leave that until later. I think it's more important that I just get down to the beach. Because I think you can catch an octopus early on in the day if you're, uh, if you're lucky. So I want to go try that. Could be really hard to catch, but um, we do have... Okay, I need to make a trap bobber. I'm pretty sure I have loads of stuff for that. Where is it? Trap bobber, yeah, it only costs one copper bar, so that's absolutely fine. Alright, so I'm gonna go do some uh, some fishing. And I'll catch up with you guys in a bit, just to see what we get. Finally! Okay, it turns out the octopus is more of a friggin' nightmare to catch than the legend. I swear to you, that was so hard. Um... Okay. Uh, this is obviously more useful than pretty much everything I have. 
but uh, I, I should have definitely emptied my inventory out before I came here. I guess a withered floor is only worth 8 wood, um, so both that and the large egg are probably the first things to go. Can't find a puffer fish. I'm not sure exactly when they appear. I might need to do some more research on that. I remember every time I did catch them, it was always in this middle section. I've got quite a few of them here, for some reason. But I don't think the location that you fish at makes any difference to anything other than the star quality, so... Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep trying just a little bit longer, but um... I don't think I'm gonna find a puffer fish today. I might need to look up when exactly they appear. I know they do appear in the summer. So uh, this this seems actually difficult, but not octopus difficult. So maybe this could be a puffer fish. Actually, no, it does seem octopus difficult. I think the octop octopi octopi. I think it's octopi. Oh, there we go. It is a puffer fish. Yeah, I thought it was slightly easier than uh, slightly easier than the octopus in the end. But yeah, there's one puffer fish. We need to get one more. Yeah, for some reason, this particular section, I seem to have way more luck with getting puffer fish than I do in the other section. Not sure what that's about. This looks like it could be another one. Although it's getting a bit too easy now. Then again, we did catch one, like, last year. Okay, it's a tuna. We did catch a puffer fish last year, so, um, it's not like it's impossible. Like, it, it should be pretty easy. At this level, at least. Seaweed. We don't want that. I didn't want to spend, like, I really had no plans to go fishing this episode. It's just the fact that we got asked to do that. It kind of reminded me that there are some summer fish left to catch. Like the octopus and, uh... We have already caught a puffer fish, but uh, just like a different puffer fish would be useful. I think at this time you can't actually get octopi anymore in the in the sea. I think they're a morning only fish. So I need to concentrate on this one, I think. It's a bit of a struggle. Fuck you. I hate it when they go to like the top or the bottom and you, you're bouncing and you have to wait to stop bouncing and even if you... Like there's nothing you can do about it. That's right, don't go quite to the top. That's 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 manageable. There we go. Another puffer fish, please be gold star so we don't have to drop anything out. Perfect, cool, thank you. Alright, so that should be all we need. We can go drop those off. One in the exotic fish exotic fishing bundle, I think. I don't think I need puffer fish for any recipes, I could be wrong. And if so, I uh, where's Willy? Where is Willy? Okay, I guess I won't be able to sell them directly. Yeah, if I'm wrong about that, then I guess I'll rule the rue the day that I um but I didn't catch myself a third puffer fish, although I might still catch one sometime before the end of the season. Right, so we need to find Demetrius, and we also need to find... Hmm, I don't have any gifts for anyone today. I'm just gonna pass through. Uh, there's a fetch quest. Try giving my cows a grape to increase their milk production. Would that work? I doubt it somehow. We should be able to find a grape fairly easily though, I'm pretty sure they're just a standard summer forage thing. There's Demetrius. Um, so can I split my things so I don't need to risk somehow giving him two? I guess what I can do is throw these tilapia or whatever they're called on the ground. Give him the puffer fish. No, not like that. What? What about the quest? Huh? Uh, what do I... No, screw you, I don't want to know about your data. What about the quest? You didn't say anything about the fact that I gave you what you wanted. What? You, you definitely asked for a puffer fish, right? I mean, that's... I haven't got the quest anymore. Demetrius needs a melon. Okay, that's from like a year ago, so that's probably fine. Alright, I'm going to assume that worked out fine, um, but that was slightly worrying. Alright, so let's drop this thing off. The exotic fishing bundle. Specialty fish bundle, that's what it is. We just need a sandfish, and that's all now. Just a sandfish, so should be able to get that next time we go to the desert. Potentially could be next episode. I think, yeah, I could use some more iridium. Just for, uh, if nothing else, then for... For a crystallarium. Although there's loads of other stuff that we can use iridium for. Like the iridium band, and... Uh, iridium tool upgrades are another obvious one. But I think there's some other stuff too. Anyone want a sweet pea? I've got lots of sweet peas. I don't need these sweet peas. Here you go. You like some spangles, don't you? Maybe I should be hanging on to that. Does Abigail look pale? Is that what she said? I don't think she does. Trying to improve. It's way better. It's already nearly, nearly awesome. Nearly perfect. Oh, screw this. Screw this little section that I can't get the horse through. It's so annoying. 
Alright, so um, I'm gonna go and work a little more on the forest. That was my main goal for this episode, and since we haven't gone to the... Ah, more oak resin. Okay. That works nicely too. Can I get myself another keg? Yes, I can. I've got no more iron bars though after that, so... Gonna need to go looking for a little more iron later on. Alright, so we got lots of cherry wine here. Strawberry wine too. Hey, do I have anything to actually drop off in there? I don't think I do. I mean, I could drop off salmon berries, but that would not be at all efficient, so I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'll come back later and fill them up with other stuff. I'm going to go drop off the octopus in our kind of more precious section, where we tend to drop off the things that are actually good. Uh, where is it? There it is. Two bits of tuna. I think. Uh, I think there is a recipe that we can use that for. Halibut. I'm just going to sell that one. Same with the tilapia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't actually know what fish that is. Alright, so I'm just going to go check. I think it's fish taco that we need a tuna for. I might not actually have enough for that anyway. But I'll have a look. Fish taco. Where is it? Fish taco. I swear I got told how to do the fish taco. Maybe I've not actually been given it yet. Maybe I just saw it on the wiki. Cookies. I thought I had an egg, I guess I threw it out. Fish tacos, I can't see it. No, I don't think I do have it. No. Okay. Not sure where that is then. I'm gonna hang on to at least one tuna though, I think. Uh, I've got no space in there, I'm gonna need to make another chest. Gonna need to make another chest for some more food. Where's the chest? There it is. Yeah, I need one. This one I'm just going to put straight in front. I can still access that one in the back, I think. No, maybe not. No, I can't. Okay. Need to move it somewhere else then. Let's go with over here. Alright, and into here I'll drop off the one tuna. And that's all the food stuff I have, so I'll just leave now. Should I have another... I have another truffle, truffle that I can drop in, don't I? Yes, I do. I will drop this one off too. Alright, so the only thing to do now, really, is to finish off, well not finish off, but make a little bit more progress with the, uh, the forest that I was planting. And I'll catch up with you guys once I've done a little bit more of that.
All right, so there we go. That's the beginning of a forest. Uh, once it's fully grown, we'll be able to just slap a load of tappers on it. And I'm hoping that should cover... Oh, no. I thought I was going to make it. I thought I left myself enough time that time. Damn it. Okay, I hope I don't get find, find a thousand. But then again, if I do, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I mean, look at all that. Truffle oil alone will cover it. Several times over. And the fish were really not worth too much. Um, I think fishing is an okay way to make money in the early game, but at this point it's kind of been massively surpassed. Unless we want to just keep catching, trying to catch the legend every day, I don't think we're going to be making that much money from fishing anymore. I think it's really going to be all coming from this artisan stuff, which is one of the main reasons I'm doing this, just so we can, uh... We can start getting a lot more oak resin in, which should enable us to start getting a lot more kegs. And I think... I think that's overall just going to really accelerate the profit coming into the farm, uh, 7,000. On top of that, I'm, I'm hoping it'll look nice. You might have noticed I kind of planted the trees in a staggered way, um, which is maybe slightly less efficient in the sense that it's less orderly, but it should look better, I hope. Alright, so, it appears to be raining. Hopefully, if it's, it's a stormy day, I hope it is. Because that would mean... That would mean that we can get a little bit more battery packs today, which we don't really need, but we might need them after... Oh, there's a couple more truffles too. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we could hopefully get some battery packs, which would be pretty useful next time uh, for both crystallariums and for uh, for iridium sprinklers too, although I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more iridium sprinklers right now. Anyhow, um, a few of these things are growing, so clearly it's working on some level. It looks kind of ugly, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure what else I could have done. I considered different flooring types. I think I, I went with weathered floor ultimately because I felt like that might look okay. But to be honest, it looks kind of kind of ugly. I don't know. Don't really know what else I could have done. Um, stepping stone paths, maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time when we should be going back into the skull caverns. Hopefully looking towards getting some more crystallariums. Actually, let's have a look, see if that's actually doable before we commit to it. Uh, crystallarium. Gold bars, iridium bars, battery packs. Okay, so the gold bars could be a problem too. No, we got... We might be able to just about do it. Yeah, we should be fine. Alright, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.